Welcome to the support videos for Control and Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will show you how to specify more than 99 maximum reruns in a Control and Cyclic job. Let's go to the Control and Enterprise Manager client's planning domain. Here, I have a simple OS job defined. We'll go to the scheduling tab and make this job a cyclic job. The maximum rerun field in the scheduling tab of a job definition only allows a maximum value of 99 to be specified. If I put a value here that's about 99, let's say 100, it will display a warning that says the field maximum rerun needs to be no greater than 99. Setting maximum reruns to zero, on the other hand, sets the cyclic job to rerun indefinitely without reaching a maximum rerun limit. So how do you set the cyclic job to perform a given action when more than 99 reruns are expected during the lifespan of the job in the active jobs file? To get a job to perform an action, for example, and OK after a number of reruns greater than 99, we will need to do the following in the ondo actions section of the job definition. Before we go to the actions tab, first let's make sure in the scheduling tab the maximum rerun is set to zero. Then in the actions tab, let's create an ondo action. For the on, we will select jobs number of executions. For the do, we will select the stop cyclic run. For the equal to value here, the maximum value that you can enter here can be up to 4095. This will let the cyclic job rerun up to 4095 times before it will end OK. This provides you with a greater flexibility on a cyclic job. This concludes our Control and Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for your time and I hope you find this video helpful.